O sea, hombre. That's right, I'm doing Super Mario Sunshine. But not normally. Today I'm doing Super Mario Sunshine glitches. So let's uh, start on up. Get a little Defino Plaza. Okay, so our glitches start with Defino Plaza. As you can see here, there's tons and tons of glitches in Defino Plaza. Show one off the bat. And you can get right into here. As you can see, <laughs> I'm right inside of him, and you can do whatever. You can jump inside his body. They're all around him, and if you go him up, then you go up. It's quite useless. There's nothing. It's kind of fun to play around with and whatnot. So if you go to this third, right in between this third and second post here, and then you put your joystick up towards it, and then you push B while going forward. Uh, this will happen. And you'll be under the water of the final plaza. It's kind of under the water. It looks so wrong. <laughs> you can get this mushroom here. You can really do whatever you want. So go against right here where this window, open window is. And you want to go kind of diagonally into the wall. Might take you a couple of tries. If you nail it, you'll go right. If you nail it, though, it's kind of hard. But if you if you go if you do it, you'll do this. And don't stay on the ground for too long. And then this way, you can easily get over here, and then you're under the water of the final plaza with Yoshi. If you go to this dot over here. You just spin jump and push your way into the window. And you should, it might take you a couple of tries, you should end up inside the texture of the, the wall. There you go. And then you go in here. Don't, don't go down there for too long or else you die. Then you should be uh, up here again, once again, with Yoshi. Um, one more quick glitch with Yoshi while we have him is if you if you jump and then you spray while you're spraying in the air you jump off of him so like this go like that then you can see that Yoshi's in this weird state where he has his mouth open his back is completely weird and if you're on a first person view you can see that the game thinks he's still on so if you go down you can see his head moves up and down with you which is, I think it's hilarious his head go way back there and then if you want to end this glitch just get back on him so now we'll, we'll finally be heading into the first stage Bianco Hills so I find if you go into the eighth or uh, eighth episode it's the best so if you get you have to get this rocket nozzle over here Okay, so you pick how many you want to charge. For for example, I'm gonna just charge. I'm just gonna do it twice. For this example. So what you do, need to do is you need to charge it up how many times you want. Wait for this wind spirit to go around. Let him hit you. Don't jump. Let him hit you. And then you go into the air. Now, however many however many um like charges you do is how many uh, how many charges you do is how high you'll go so this time let's try it with more charge okay, this time I'm gonna charge quite a bit okay and then you let him hit you woo Funny, part, the funny thing about this part is you don't know how high you are until you look down. Now you're really, really high up. So sit back and relax. So eventually you'll hit this 
I think it's solid ground. I don't really know. Some texture difficulty. And Flood is just completely, almost like completely detached. And Mario does some weird blinking thing. So yeah, then you're not moving down. You're just staying here. Only way to get out of this is to go into first person. Then you fall all the way down again. You know, this glitch is just fun. Uh, I don't think there's any uses in it, so there's that. And that's the easiest way to do this glitch. So, uh, what you have to do, once you go into it, you can go into the, the wall. You hold, keep holding up, and then Mario does this weird falling animation, because the game thinks he's falling. It looks like just a little, it's a little head popping above the thing. Our next glitch is going to take place in Rico Harbor, go to episode 2. So what you need to do is uh, you need to get over to this crane over here, jump till you get under the crane, about right here, and then just jump a bunch, jam the button as much as you can. Then you'll see that you fall through the ground, and then you can just hop up to here and now you're under the water of Rico Harbor. Um, just go over to this hole over here. Now you can actually go inside. So first of all what's weird is there's another layer of water. There's another layer of water which is pretty weird. Rico Harbor. So you want to go into the hole but you don't you don't actually trigger the cutscene so you're just like right here and you can go so then you're in the tube and then you can go outwards and then you're just in here so you're still in the tube you can't get out but the other thing you can do with it is if you go right right into this wall right here and you dive you do this isn't this so beautiful that's it for Rico Harbor so in Jalalo Beach, I believe you can do this in any of the episodes, but I just do episode 8 because it's really calm, there's really no enemies except for the those guys. So what you want to do is you want to ground pound at the exact moment that it goes down. It might take a couple of shots, but it's really easier than it looks. Then this happens, and I don't really know what to explain, it's just a camera glitch. Yeah, it happens. So, uh, one weird glitch that I noticed also. So, you jump right about here. Right about here, you do this weird thing with your grabbing the wall animation. Uh, found that out, it's kind of funny. So, you go to Pianta Village. So, for this, for this glitch, you have to head to a odd numbered thing for nighttime because you need it to be nighttime. So if you head to, if you head to the tree, normally, normally you have to get the rocket nozzle and do uh, shoot your way up. For some weird reason, you go up it. So then you can't do this platform, and then this part's just the funnest. Go straight up this wall, then you pop all the way up to this tree. Now, right now, I'm not supposed to be up this tree. Now for the glitch, and I love this glitch because well, it's just funny. So where you want, what you want to do is you want to head to this gate right here, and the third one that's just kind of poking out. You can you have to hover to that. Like so then you go, and then you're actually swimming. So what you want to do here is like the glitch with getting under the water of Defino Plaza. You want to hold forward. And then you want to push B. Then you do this weird thing. And you go all the way to the bottom of the final plaza. Pianta. I mean, Pianta Village. You can see that Pianta from this, um, from the bottom. That's kind of funny. So this goes for a while. So as long as, like, Pianta Village is area. So as long as that. So as you can see, there's actually a wall here, and on top of that, you cannot get back up. Let's wrap it all off. If you go to Corona Mountain, so this weird glitch that you might know of, 
So head over to this fish over here. So what you want to do is you want to hover over to it. Don't want to kill it, but you want to get hurt by it. And your invincibility frames will be able to, like, you'll have, you'll have enough time to go into the lava. And then you can treat the lava as water. Time this out right. Like so. So then you're under the water, which is pretty weird. It's more or less lava. You only can go to this deep. So really you can just go as far as you want. So you can kinda go, you can kinda gain some distance. But uh, getting air is a bit tricky. I can I go in here? No, I can't. Getting air is tricky because if you go to the surface and instantly die, because it's still lava. Boom! Okay, so this. Oh, I can build right this is what happens when you do the invisible glitch. So you can see this guy is on top of this wall. So everything's invisible, but it's still there. See, so they come on water here. It's still there. kind of hard to maneuver around this place but so that way it was actually way easier what I was doing before uh yeah everything that's not the island of Fino is still visible so you can cut trees get whatever you want get Yoshi blah blah, blah. well that that uh, wraps it up for this video hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and hope you like some of these glitches that we did. Hopefully we'll hear from you in our next video. And see ya. Stay sophisticated. Wait, Ethan, why are you here? <laughs>